Yo. All right, so today I'm going to make a video that will be the first part of a series I'm going to call Cards Against Oneself. All you need is a deck of cards and some time. I typically play cards by myself when I am waiting at like airports, maybe just waiting on like a halftime show at a game or something. The first one that I'm going to do is going to be Solitaire. Solitaire is a one player game, so it'll be pretty easy to show you guys. At some point, I am going to do multiplayer games though, such as War, and show you guys how you can play even some multiple player games, multiple player card games, against yourself. That is why it's going to be called Cards Against Oneself. I guess all that's left to do is to show you the game. Alright, so I haven't set up my playing area yet. The way you do this is that you take the cards and you set them up into seven columns. Each column has one more card than the previous column. Obviously mine is a little crazy, but that's easy to fix. You want to make sure that you can see at least a little bit of each card in the stack so that you know how many cards are in that column. And then you want to flip over the top card on each column. The goal in this game is to get all of the cards into four stacks above all the other cards. You want to keep them in order of sweep from ace as the first card to king. The way you do that is you move each of these cards onto alternating colors of the higher card. So for example, this three of diamonds can go on this four of clubs. It can't go on either of these because they're the same color. It has to be alternating colors and it's in order based on the numbers. Once you've lifted a card and created a spot, you can flip over the next card. You keep going like this, making sure to stack them and go down through the cards as they become available. If you don't have any moves or if you just feel like mixing it up, you take a card from your leftover cards, you flip it over, you see where you can place it. This can be placed on this, so go ahead and do that. Look for any more matches, there aren't any. Flip over the next card. Now if you're doing it this way, one card at a time, you can only go through once. It makes it kind of challenging to win. But that is the rules. Now if you get all the way through, you haven't started your pile, you're probably out of luck and you're going to have to restart. You can take a few tries to win this game. It is possible to deal an unwinnable hand, so don't get frustrated if you get stuck. Just put all your cards back together, shuffle them up, and give it another shot. as many times as you want to make yourself feel like you've mixed it up enough. I tend to go for two or three and you just deal it out and give it another chance. Once again, you just go through, stack cards in order with alternating colors, flip over cards that don't have a card on top of them. If you have an empty space, you can take a king to fill that space. Now only a king though, so make sure you're not throwing random cards in there. You want to make sure that you can see all of the numbers above as well so you know which cards you have in the stack. 
Now another way you can use the draw pile is instead of going one at a time, you go three at a time. Look at that, I got an ace. Now even if you see a card you want, you have to go through in order. So I can't just throw this king out of the way to get this ace. You gotta go in order. Once you get started, you can make sure that you get the next card in order and start filling up that stack. Now, if you do it the three at a time way, you get three chances. So that was the first one. For the last try, see if I can win. Looks like that's all she wrote this time. Alright, so as it turns out, I was missing my Ace of Diamonds. You want to make sure that you have all 52 cards if you want to win. I didn't mention this earlier, but you do not play with the Jokers unless you have to make up a card. So now that I'm back to 52 cards, reshuffle and redeal and give that another shot. <laughs> You can flip them over one at a time for each column if you choose to. I prefer to do it that way just so that I don't have to go back through. I also prefer to do the three card style. Whichever one you choose is up to you. I like the extra chances that getting to go through the drop pile three times gives you. Another important thing to consider is when you do the three card style, you do not shuffle the cards when you flip them over. You just flip them straight over and go back at it. Alright, that's three. So that's it for this game. Like I said, it's possible to deal yourself a hand that you can't complete. Don't be afraid to go through a few times. Sometimes you don't see the matchups that you need to see. You just gotta give it another shot. Go through one more time just to see if I can uh, get a win on record. When you have more than one option, as far as what's place where, I like to put it on the shorter pile, just because I like to get rid of the piles so that you can put the kings down. Where you put it is really up to you. It's really important though to make sure that you can get those aces out because you have to get to the aces before you can start the stacks. You have to complete the stacks to win the game. I didn't move any cards that time, so it's probably a waste, but I'm gonna go through one more time just to make sure 
that I saw everything that is for me to see. Alright, so that's a wrap for that game. One more thing that I'd like to point out is that there are variations to the game of Solitaire. The version that I did today is called Klondike Solitaire. Obviously the rules change based on the variations and that is something to keep in mind when you try it for yourself. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.